Atomy has prepared not only the absolute quality products, absolute price, the compensation plan, but also has provided us with a formula, the eight steps to success. So let us start with the steps number one. Let's have a look. Atomy and dreams, how do we do it? Okay, the first one is life scenario. This life scenario was one of the first ones I encounter where it actually helps you to see where you are and where you want to be. When you look at it, all you need to do is fill it out, but it's going to make you think very carefully why are you dreaming and why, why you need to write these things down. They, these are called goals, okay? And the goals need to be written down because it's the only way that you can co contemplate and look and think about and go and really make sure that you've got a direction. So when you write your goals, as the teachers say, write it clearly, be specific, but above all, set a day. It's very important you set a day. I did that. I was wondering when I did this, I thought, my goodness, um, I don't know how I'm going to be a sales master, but let me put this, okay, this year I'll put it by August 2018, something like that, okay? And guess what? When you put a date, actually, it seems you set some things in motion and things start to happen. And, yeah, fair enough. I've become not only a sales master, I went straight into diamond master. That's a real surprise because, you know what, um, life meets you where you put faith in action. So aim for the balance in your life, okay? I did my little map. I looked at where I was uh, physically, mentally, emotionally, with family, with finance, with my faith, with social, and I was nowhere but then I started to write everything down, and you're going to learn more about that when you look at the section tonight on the life scenario. So what I did also is I, I looked at my goals, and I meditated day and night on them. And I started to visualize, which is so important. Let's use the imagination to bring about what you want and take action on a daily basis. So that's actually the first step to success. I was going to put a photo of someone very special. Okay, and I, and I was going to ask you if you knew or if you have seen that person. That photo was of a woman. That, her name is Harriet Tapman. That woman was born in 1820 and he was born as a slave in America, in the South America, South of America, USA. And what happened is through her determination, she, she said she always believed, I have a right to have freedom. And I have a right to die. And what she did was, at the age of 24, she married a man, John Tadman, who was a free black man. But then what happened is she told this man, her husband, I want to escape. I want to be a free woman. And the husband said, well, if you try that, I'm going to dub you in. So instead of having that support, she found no support at all. But she was determined to be a free woman. She escaped. And she took a very dangerous route. Why am I telling you this story? Because she, in history, she has been the woman, the only person with a, a woman, black woman, a slave, uneducated, that uh, saved the most, most slaves in the whole America. No one else had achieved that. And Abraham Lincoln, who was very much involved in making liberation happen for the slaves, even sent his senator to consult with her because she was a leader. She became a woman that was fearless, committed, determined, sacrificed. And why I'm putting this on? Because the second step is commitment. That's why I wanted to tell you that story because that really encouraged me. When you commit yourself and Atomy can help you with this, this is what happens. You need to make a firm decision. Are you going to be part of this company and really put your best foot forward? Or are you going to be mm, maybe yes, maybe no? If you have that attitude, it's not going to work. I tell you that. You're going to be one, one day 
Yes, add to me. Another day, oh, maybe, maybe, no, no not really. And you're going to be hot and cold, hot and cold, and nothing is going to move. So you need to make that firm decision. You need to make it to yourself. Okay? So the next one is you need to be consistent. You need to persevere because, as many of the other speakers have said, you cannot come across rejection. Even when you come with the true heart, sincere heart, this is going to help you. Some people are not going to believe you and they don't want to know. That's okay. I wish you used to be one of those to Esther. And be patient. This is so, some people can move from sales master, diamond master, and achieve very quickly auto ship, auto purchases, uh, auto cons- cons- consumers. But sometimes it may take you a little bit longer. Don't give up, okay? Don't give up. And from there, how do we do it? If we commit ourselves and we say, yes, we're going to do this, let's see what we do next. The list. What do we do with the list? Is it a shopping list? <laughs> no. Before you even start thinking, who am I going to contact and tell them about this wonderful company, wonderful product, and wonderful prices, and that there is potential for income, you need to change your mindset. You need to believe that it's possible. And you need to believe that um, what you are enjoying, someone else can enjoy it too. The other thing is don't judge, don't assume that that person may not be the right person for Artemy. You don't know that. That person doesn't need this because they're doing well. You don't know that. So don't, don't judge. And use the three-meter rule, which means approach anyone that is close enough to you. you. Just do it. Okay? And how do you make the list? Look at your phone. You're always on the phone. You're always on your iPad, on the computer. There is lots of people that you know there friends, relatives, uh, co- colleagues from work or, or from previous jobs. Make sure that you make that list with a sincere thought that you're going to help that person. Because actually you do, just like Esther did with me. And have no limitations and no fear, just like that first video clip was there. No fear, okay? So we go on to the next step which is the invitation. How do you invite people? I mean, really, I invite people to to go out for dinner. I invite people to my house. But how do you invite them to Atomy, to be part of this wonderful family? First, you invite everyone. You don't put anyone off. Uh, When you invite, be sincere because you want them to see the benefits that they may have with Atomy. Be helpful. Tell them, look, if you want to attend the one-day seminar, I'll pick you up. Let's go together. If you want, if you want them to attend Success Academy and they can't afford to come, buy them the ticket so they can see what you're seeing. And the other thing is serve them as a guide. If they don't understand something, just be patient and show them the way and continue to invite until they realize that maybe this is really for them and it will help them, okay? What do you do after you invite people and they have come and attended to one day seminar or they have gone to the education center and got some more information about products? You show them the plan. That's the bit where you really need to know what you're saying because this is very delicate uh, matter. Because you're promoting a company, Atomy, that is already established. You are not here to make stories up. You are here to tell the story. And you better tell it right. So when you show the plan, know all the aspects of Atomy. Just what we, we, you have been learning here today. Company intro, product info, compensation plan, all of that. And you don't need to know it to detail as long as you understand how everything works. And what do you do when you show the plan? You make time to meet with someone and enough time for them to sit with you so you can talk to them, they can ask you questions, and you can provide answers. And you listen to their answers because they're going to give you what they need. And use different medias. If you are, um, actually, if you are doing this, use 
just the pen and the piece of paper that you got to draw a compensation plan or to show them photos of the before and after of people that have been taking, um, you know, the products. Or you can actually tell them your own story of how you have gotten your, you know, the, the good benefits of Atomy products. And use your telephone. We got Atomy provides you an Atomy app on your iPhone. If you don't have anything, just show them the, the, the phone, photos. Show them uh, your iPad or go onto the internet. Send them links to, to um, testimonies. So that's what you do. So after that, what do we do? After we show them the plan, we go to the next step, which is follow up. Who here, if I can ask, when you have seen someone that you haven't seen in a long time and you get to talk to them, you say goodbye, and then you don't ring them for another probably three months or so because we get so busy. What about if we follow up straight after we have given them such good news about this wonderful company? Don't let them fall away. Follow them up and say, do you have any more questions about that product? Did you try that beautiful toothpaste? Is it helping your mom with the gum disease? But be sincere. Don't just um, talk to them and try to get, oh, how's the business? How many people have you registered? No, it's not that. It's about you knowing that that person may be finding the right solutions for them. So there you go. You make those warm calls. You find out what's been happening with them. You listen with care and honesty. You provide solutions. If they say, look, I joined, I love the product, I've been telling people, I've been sharing my experience, I've been registering, but they, they don't seem to buy the products. And my answer will say, would be like, it's okay, some people take time. Have you tried to give them something? Maybe that person doesn't have the money to buy that product, but maybe you can give them something. And they go, oh no, I didn't think of that. Maybe that will help. So advice like that. It's not that you are uh, given the solution and you say, oh, maybe you should say it like this, like a sales pitch. We're not, not here to do sales pitch. We're here to be sincere. And don't forget to arrange subsequent follow-up because after that, they may need something else. Okay? So the next step is consult. This is to benefit you and your new partner. How do we do that? When you do consultation, you're actually building and establishing a very strong uh, position of trust. How do you do that? Simple. Continue to have that caring nature. Try to help as much as you can. Be ready to listen. It's not when you want to listen. It's when that person wants to speak to you. Provide advice and support and share your experience of, of encouragement. But what I like about this consultation that I learned from Anatomy is that I can go to my sponsor, maybe Esther, and say, Esther, you know what? Uh, my business has been growing quite well, but I'm still having a bit of uh, challenges. Can you tell me how I can handle this? And you know what? She is supporting me. As I get the right answers then I can give those right answers to my partners. And the last one, but not least, as you can see there, duplicate. I think we mentioned that a few times today. The duplication happens when you are the best that you can be. Because if you are the best that you can be, then whoever you are touching, you're coming across, you are connecting, they're going to be the best that they can be because I'm the seed and I'm planting my seed here and it's growing into a beautiful tree and it's giving beautiful fruits. So to do that, be a good example. Don't be greedy. Don't be selfish. Don't, don't think, oh, but gee, I'm giving them and they're not doing enough. Oh, my God, I'm doing all the work and complain, complain, complain. No. Build trust. If they say something to you, don't go and say it to someone else. That's confidential. Okay? The other thing is 
replicate the people that have done really well. I'm always looking because I come from Perth and Esther has been my mentor. I always look at her and I think, okay, Esther's doing this, Esther's doing that. So I'm like this. Oh, I'm going there. She, she did that. Okay, she did that. But one thing someone told me, don't forget to be you. You are not to become a copycat. You can keep your own personality. You can keep your own philosophies of life too. And help others duplicate their, their steps. So you teach them about step number one. Let's sit down. Let's do the dream. How are you going to commit? Write that list. Invite. Follow up. Consult. And you have your multiplication. I'm just going to close now saying to you all, let fear not be your disability. Use fear to your own advantage. Because if you make your dreams bigger than your fear, guess what? You have conquered fear and fear has helped you to achieve that. Thank you for the privilege of speaking to you from my heart.